Welcome to Octane Mobile Gaming. Welcome once again to the channel. Today we take another look at MU Origin. It's um, MMORPG game which I've been featuring for the last four weeks. And today we take another look at developing your character. We're gonna take a look at wings and we're gonna take a look at artifacts. So we're gonna go straight in and we're gonna have a look at my wings. Now these wings are for my archer. My archer is my first character that I actually um, started to develop. Its wings are at its maximum. So let's uncheck the skin or in MU we call it costume. So it's got a skin costume. And you can remove it. So this is the original wings and it's at the maximum uh, tier 12. It's only got one star at tier 12. And if you look to the right hand side of the screen, you'll see all the stats and you'll see the level. So it's called um, Phantom Wings. It's grade tier 12. It's got one star. That's one pink that you see down the bottom you get it up to tier I think it's 10 stars and you go to the next level but this one hasn't got any more level we're just leveling, leveling it leveling it up to its maximum you need condor feathers to actually upgrade your wings and it takes less condor feathers when your wings are low so tier 1 takes just a handful of feathers and then it increases as your level increase. So when you get to like level six and you're upgrading it to level seven, it takes seven condor feathers for each uh, level of experience. So each condor um, feathers give you experience and this experience adds to the total amount of um, what do you call it? Stars that you need to get it to the next level. Okay, so the physical attack for this wing is five, five, nine, seven minimum and eight, seven, four, five maximum. Uh, on the far right hand side, there are some green stats there. Every um, star that you had to the wings, you add stats. So that 184 will go towards the physical attack when I get up to um, two stars. Um, you got physical attack, you got physical defense, magic defense. If you notice that this one has only got physical attack because it's a physical character, but it's got physical defense and magic defense. You got your maximum HP, so the 26,022 goes on top of your maximum HP. Uh, you got damage absorber as well. It gives you 50% extra on top of your damage absorb. Now you've got four different levels to your wings. You've got your wings, which is what we're looking at now. Then you've got the rock soul, and this adds to your wings as well. Now the first stat is maximum HP. So this actually adds 37,833 on top of your maximum HP. Uh, attack, so 9445 goes on top of your maximum attack level. Um, your physical defense, your magic defense, and your damage absorb as well. You get an extra 50% of um, your damage absorb on top of your maximum. That's your rock soul. It's really important to upgrade your rock soul when you're upgrading your wings. So you can upgrade your wings, and after you upgrade it to the next level then you take your rock soul up to the next level what I was doing before was upgrading my wings get it to um, the next level then do my rock soul then take my plume up to that level as well and then awake try and waken it to that level but I realized that it was taking a lot of time a lot of effort and a ton load of material Watch, which is very difficult to um, actually collect. So I just concentrate on my wings and my rock soul. Now my rock soul is to its max. I'm gonna take the wings to its maximum star value. 
Then I'm gonna concentrate on my plume. And then last but not least, I'm going to do my whitening of my wings. Let's explain uh, the rest of the wings. Now, the plume gives you extra stat to your attack, defense, HP, accuracy, and evade. But each plume feather gives you a high, higher value to one of your stats than the others. So if you take a look at, say, the maximum HP of all the plumes, you'll see that the red feather has the highest stat when it comes to HP. So if you want to increase your HP level, this is one place you can actually increase it by um, leveling up your red plume feather. It gives you 29,827 extra HP on top of your maximum HP. The green doesn't do that because the green concentrates on something totally different. Okay, so you can see, even though the green is at level 60, the max HP is 17,896. The blue as well is quite low, but if you take a look at the attack value of most of these, you can see that the one with the highest value of attack is actually my pink feather. Now my pink feather gives me 5965, which is quite close to my blue feather. My blue feather gives me 5468. Both, both are at level 60, but my pink feather gives me a higher level of attack. Now let's take a look at um, the blue, f well, I think this one is purple, isn't it? So purple and blue. So the purple is at the bottom with the pink and the blue is at the top with the yellow. So if we take a look, so the purple doesn't give us as much attack as our pink. Let's take a look at the blue at the top. So the blue is where you get your highest level of accuracy. Need to increase your accuracy level. This is one place you can actually increase your accuracy level quite significantly. So the next level will take us up by 21,187. Now 21,187 is the next level for accuracy. So you actually get just a bit over 9,000. Yeah, just a bit over 9,000 you'll get added to your accuracy at level 61. So that's accuracy level. Evade is your yellow feathers. So your yellow feathers, I think it should have been green really. Yeah, it should have been green. But green doesn't increase your evade level as much. It doesn't really, but okay. So each one of these plumes, as I said, gives you a higher value on one particular uh, value. If it's accuracy, you basically concentrate on your blue feather. If it's attack, it's your pink. If it's HP, it's your red and so on and so forth. So you've got six of them, but you've got five um, stats. So one of them actually adds a bit more to one particular stat can't figure out can't remember which one it is at the moment but um, when I remember I'll actually give you the information now this is the bonus um, it's an extra bonus that is added on top of um, all the stats that you get from your plume so what it says currently what is activated is upgrade any five plume to level 60 which we've got five plume upgraded so what is active I've got the extra 7,200 added on top of my maximum attack. 4,300 added to my maximum defense. My HP, I get an extra 28,000. Accuracy, I get an extra 10,200. Evade, 1,100. And 30% extra damage penetration. Now, if I upgrade all six plume to level 70, I will get 84 onto my attack, 8,400. I'll get 5,000 onto my defense, 33,000 onto my maximum HP and so on and so forth. So the more you take them up, 
the more stats you get awakening now awakening is primarily for your elemental um your elemental bonuses now you've got your fire attack on the left and you've got your fire defense on the right now the fire defense that i've currently got the bonus is 1318 up to a maximum of 2192 and it's awakened to level four and these take not only condor feathers it also take this thing uh, feather of meat or meat or whatever it is this one is very difficult to come by so i've been hoarding them plume takes condor feathers and it takes um, condor flame so the, I've been hoarding Condor Flame and I've been hoarding I've been hoarding these these feathers as well. So um conquering feathers and you've got another one, can't remember which one. So one is conquering feather and the next one. So attack is con um conquering feathers and defense is actually protective feathers. And you can see where you can get them from on the right. You upgrade all of them to um, 10 stars and then you upgrade them and these are the bonuses that you'll get so fire attack fire defense fire resistance fire reduction and these are quite important because your character also deal elemental damage to other characters I'm gonna take a look at the elemental weapon on so this is the elemental system not going to look at that today i'm going to look at that on another day but today we are going to look at only the wing so that's your wing now if i was to unequip my wing so look at my total cp which is 1.78 million and if i go to wings and i actually unequip my wing so my wing is actually unequip i've just lost quite a bit of cp so as you can see, my character no longer has her wings. Her wings has been clipped, it's been taken. So I'm gonna re-equip my wings because your wings does add quite a lot to your character. So equip, and my wings is back on 51,000 CPs. And that's the wings. Now, I have got lots of stuff for the wings. I've got feathers which I've been using. I've got the um, condor meat. And if I go here, you can see where I've been hoarding a lot of stuff for my wings. So there are the feathers, there are the flames, there are the meat. I've got so much stuff I'm hoarding for my wings. All right, so let's now take a look at my artifact. Now this also has got a um, skin or costume but let's unequip that and this is the artifact it is currently at um tier 14 and it's got four stars now you get it up to six stars before it gets to the next level which is quite difficult to do easier when you're at lower levels very difficult when you get to a higher level and it gets to the next level which is tier 15 and that was tier 13 all right so what does this do for your character it has it has physical attack physical defense magic defense accuracy evade hp and it's got hp increase as well so it does quite a bit for your character um to actually um, upgrade it, you you dismantle equipment that you no longer want or need, and you can actually get stuff from the abyss. So at the moment, I'm in something called the abyssal realm, and this is the abyssal realm. It's not open. The ones in red are higher level characters. So my character is currently level four, master four. So the highest one I can actually access on the Abyssal map is Master 4. When I get to Master 5, you get a different one, Chromatic Mountain and so on and so forth. At the minute, I'm in level 320, which is Binding Isles. 
and that's where I'm farming at the moment. But with the Abyssal Realm, the higher the level of the map, the more experience you get. So the experience that I'll get from where I am is not as I as if I go went to the wetland, which is Master Four. I'll get higher, um, a higher level of experience. You also get something called the Abyssal Coin. We'll speak about that in the next video. But the Abyss, it opens for a period of time and then it closes probably for a week and then it reopens again. But that's somewhere that you want to farm as well to collect your coins and you can get skins using the coins. Lots of stuff you can use the coins for. Now, where was I? We are now gonna call, go from the Abyssal Realm into Normal Realm and I'm gonna go to Laurentia. Now that's the first map that you'll access when you start the game. Laurentia and what I'm doing here I'm just gonna hold the character here for a moment and then I am going to go through one of the dungeons so let's go to dungeons and let's go to my daily dungeons so these are all the dungeons that I need to go through and these dungeons give you loads of stuff one of the thing that it gives you yeah, is equipment so I'm gonna sweep it and you can see I'm getting loads of stuff. I'm getting feathers, I'm getting equipment, I'm getting experience, and I'm getting gold. So you want to sweep this every single day. I haven't sweeped it for a few days because I've been quite busy. But today, I have no other choice but to sweep it because I'm off. So I'll be doing what I need to do. It's quite important to do all of this every single day. So you develop a character faster and your character is stronger. One of the things I would advise you against is to take up your character experience quite quickly without actually concentrating on the stuff that I'm showing you. Cause you'll get to like level four and a level one character will be able to actually take you out. You don't want that. So do, spend as much time as you need to develop your character to the level that it's at before you move on to the next level one of that is actually doing your divinity which is at the top here and doing your master skill which you actually access here and this is your master skill we'll speak about master skill on the next time but we are actually concentrating on artifact. So you can see that red dot on my artifact, that means I've got stuff to actually dismantle. Now, I could have dismantled this from the main screen, but I'm not going to right now. I'll show you that next. Go to dismantle and all of this wonderful unique stuff, I'm actually gonna dismantle and that will go to the total experience of my artifact so i'm going to dismantle that and you can't see the experience because it's quite high up but you do get quite a bit of experience doing um, the dismantling now i go to my mailbox and this is where i'll store all the other equipments that i could not put in my inventory and to get rid of the ones to dismantle the ones that you would dismantle at the bottom, you'll see just below claim all, you'll see it says dismantle unique or lower V1 open. This cannot be accessed by someone who is not VIP. That's V1. And that's why I said to you before, it's quite important to get to uh, up to um, VIP three. It's quite easy, it's quite cheap to get up to VIP three. You don't have to go any further unless you want to. But I would advise if you're gonna play the game and you want the best out of the game, take your um, take your take your character or I think every character you have, you cannot transfer your VIP to each character. Each character has to have, have their own VIP level. So this character is VIP, I think seven. And all I need to do is just click claim all and claim and delete. And what it will do, it will get rid of the unique and I'll just get the, um, the epic. 
and I just keep doing that until it stops. That means that my inventory is full. Then I'll go through all the stuff that uh, that's in my inventory. I'll keep what I want, get rid of what I don't want. So it's full now. And I've only got Epic. Don't need all of these, but it's quite nice to actually keep a few, a pair. Because if I go to my storage, you'll see here, I'm actually upgrading um, equipments that have got critical damage. And those are ones that, as I showed you before, you get from your, um, you get from your drag and draw here. You get, no, you didn't go in, that's dungeon, sorry. You get it from your draw. So when you go to your draw, you get it from here. And when you get them, you want to keep them and develop, develop those ones because you do get, it gives you critical damage and you don't really get um, critical damage from other armors. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get rid of these ones I think I'll, yep, I'll get rid of these ones. I don't keep the weapons because I'm not really interested in the weapons. The trousers or the pants, I'll get rid of the pants and I'll keep the boots and the gloves. Now, if you go back to inventory and go back here, this glove, I'm trying to develop this glove. Now, this glove, as you can see, it's got critical damage, 5% critical damage, but the other stats are not really as good as this glove. But the critical damage is really important. That's lucky option. I have got lucky option on my um, Archangel crossbow and my Archangel quiver, so you can see. And that's, that's quite good. I was quite lucky to get that one. So this is what I'm developing. So I will keep those glove and those will help me as well and the boots i'll keep the boots because i'm developing a boot as well and the rest i'll just put in my artifact next place that you can get stuff for your artifact is the abyssal rem and it's called your let's go to the abyssal rem it's called the crystal mine let's go to the crystal mine and these these um these runes that you're gonna collect from the crystal mines are really good. They give you a lot more experience than armor. And we go to the crystal mine. And here you can see different type of crystals. So you got your blue crystal. Uh, so to the left hand side of the screen, you'll see what each crystal gives you. So if you collect the green crystals, you'll get massive rune stones. If you collect the, the blue crystals, you get ros, which is your pink diamonds. If you collect the um, orange or yellow, I think it's yellow, yellow ones, you will get Zen, which is basically gold. And there are pink ones, which you only get the pink ones when the crystal mine is open. Now the crystal mine normally opens round about, I think it's 9.30, round about 9, 9.30 every, every evening. It depends on your um, server time. So my server time is around about 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, that, those time. That's when you get your pink ones. The pink ones will give you everything. It will give you um, rose, it will give you gold, it will give you runestone, and it will give you stuff for your, give you stuff for your pets as well. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna collect the first one, and then we're gonna have a look at what we just collected from the first green one. So I personally just collect the green ones. So let's see what we got from that green one. So we got rune stone. So large artifact rune stone. It will grant you will acquire hundred thousand artifacts experience experience when absorbed. And this is what I got as well. It's called um, anima, and this is consumed to give your pets um, to. It gives you uh, basically. It's like currency to upgrade your pets that's where i get most of the experience for my um, artifact and i do this every single day when you do it during the opening hours which is just for an hour you get double the amount so you get double the amount of runestone double the amount of experience double everything is doubled 
you want to collect the largest ones the largest ones give you more experience more of everything and during the time when it's open and that's doubled you get massive amount of experience massive amount of um, anime massive amount of rune stone try and avoid the pink ones because you get the higher level players going after the pink ones and they will kill you they'll take you out soon as you get within you don't even have to get near most of the time there's like you've got a team of probably like three or four characters that works together you got one farming and you got like two watching for other players and as soon as you get close enough they'll sh and take you out um i hate it when it's like that so i just collect my green ones as and when i've got time i don't wait on the crystal mine to be open i just go and farm it and just take my time and develop my artifact okay so that is your wings and that is your artifact in a nutshell they're there are two important aspects to every single character in MU. There's other, um, there are other stuff that I need to show you as well, but we're going to go through those as we go along. But today um, is Artifact and Wings Day. So you've seen your Artifact, you know where to increase like your HP, your accuracy, your attack by concentrating on your wings the plumes, the rock, and so on and so forth. So, don't leave your wings to last. Develop your wing as you develop a character. It's quite important. So next time around, we're going to look at pets. So we're gonna look at the pets in the next video. We're gonna talk about the pets. And if I get it through, if I get through everything, everything to do with pets, then we might take a look at um, the Holy Shield. Quite important aspect, the Holy Shield. So we'll take a look at the Holy Shield and the pets on the next video. So this is Ayat Tain saying, hope the information helps if you're getting into MU Origin. Um, like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, ask any question that you want to in the comment section below. You can leave a comment. You can make a suggestion. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for your support. Thanks to all of you guys out there. Until the next video, this is Ayaktain saying peace and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.